on average, I would say, you know, an animation will take us, you know, if we just measured it out and we were working just on that, I would, I would say four months. It could be three to five months, maybe, but averaging about four months. We don't work on just one at a time. We, we get into one and we sort of, you know, really get on a roll with that, but then at some point, one of us will get inspired or stuck, one of the two, and jump to something else. And that um, it's, it's very possible, it's actually happened quite a bit, where he's working on one animation, I'm working on some totally other thing. I might be working on music for something we haven't even modeled yet, and he may be working on this whole set of drums for something that I haven't even thought of the music for yet. It really could go either way. When we finally completed the whole video album, when we look back, we go, wow, that took us three years, but how was it all divided up? And, who knows? You know, it's, it's, it's hard to even see where the time went because it's just so intertwined and so many things happening in parallel. Like, I might have some various musical ideas I'm working on and we want to build some instruments that um, are specifically designed to, to play that particular piece of music. And more often than not, it's actually the opposite where we, we get inspired for some some crazy instrument idea or set of instruments and we're working on the on developing those instruments and I haven't even started writing the music yet and the music will will eventually sort of come out of all right now that we have these instruments you know what kind of music should they be playing resonant chambers Dave was building this whole kind of crazy wacky multi necked stringed lute harp crazy thing and it was one of those situations where I'm working on some other stuff probably some software whatever I was doing and he's okay you know can you give me some some feedback what do you what do you want this to do is it gonna have a bass or is it you know and I I kept saying I don't know just but it looks cool keep going just just make more make it cooler and stranger and more wacky finally we had this crazy instrument that was absolutely gorgeous looking and at that point, I had to start figuring out, well, all right, what does this thing do? How, you know, how to, what, what music does it play? But it, we've also done it exactly the opposite. For example, Future Retro, the music was, was completely done, I think, two years before we ever started trying to visualize it. We try to, you know, not have too many things that are like the same, so we try to have a variety of different types of animations, different looks. Some are sci-fi, some are it's more of an old-fashioned look. And I spend a lot of time just making things look dirty and weathered and antiqued a little bit. The pogo sticks guys get off their stages and travel around and try to mix it up. Of course, the other thing is is having not just not just the variety of of the visuals, but the variety uh, in the music. It having turned out that our audience, being as diverse as it is, you've got people who say, "Oh, I really love the acoustic stuff. Could you do more, more acoustic stuff?" And then the next email we get is from someone saying. Can you do more of the electronic stuff? That's my favorite. I really like all the science fiction, lasers, and all that stuff, not so much the acoustic. And then someone will say, oh, do more classical music. The, the classical piece you did was, was the best. And someone else will say right after that, you know, I liked everything except the classical piece. 